Okay, so to bring in a signature into your email that's pre that you pre-make somewhere else, you need to bring in the value. And in this same video, I'm going to show you where to go, uh, where to go edit that, or even to pre-make it, pre-create it. <laughs> um, okay, so at the end of your um, at the end of your email where you want your signature, um, you can put your cursor where you want it, and then go up to the top and go to where it says custom values. You just hover over these the icons here and it'll it'll show up. And then you're going to go to user. Okay, open that and you're gonna find signature and click on that and then the code will show up right here on the bottom. I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna show you now where to go find where to edit that so that when it actually gets sent it will show up it'll your email will show up and not that not that code okay so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the left go down to settings and go to my staff okay and there will be um, you your name and email address that you use to um, to send to send emails right this is this would you would anyway your name will be here or your business name however way it's set up and you're gonna go to this little icon this little edit icon the, the pencil open it and then scroll down to where it says signature and this is the signature area okay I have a, a photo that I that I put together um, and you could bring it in just like any other photo through through this little icon or you could just you know type something pretty in here like if I got let's see you could put um, you know regards and your name and then you can make your name you know put a different font on it a different color on it if you want to um, and then, then all you have, then you don't have to redo this all the time. You can make it pretty the way you want it to show up all the time. And then all you have to do is use that code that I put in there. So I'm going to erase this because this is my live. So you can see, you could either do something through creating it here with the text, or you can go and create something in Canva and bring it in. Whatever it is that you want to do, you could do that here and save it don't play with anything else unless you know what, what they are and save it and that's it